All right, so in our next match review, we're going to be reviewing one of my purple belts at the time, Devin Genchi. Now, as you quickly discover, Devin is a guillotine machine. He was the one that we named the Genchitine after, all right, which is like the guillotine crucifix. And you can see he wasted no time getting a guillotine on his opponent right here. Now, a lot of people might have already let go of this guillotine when he hit his back, but Devin is not one of those guys. <laughs> Devin will hold on until you literally rip his hands apart. He doesn't care what position he's in. Now, right now from the bottom, because he still has a guillotine, uh, he's okay except for the Von Flu choke threat. Now, his opponent could be going for it here, but uh, there's enough pressure where he looks like he is distracted and he's not trying to wrap around the head and get that Von Flu. And uh, the other thing that Devin does, well, I'm not sure if he's doing it intentionally or not, but because his opponent is wrapping his hand between his legs, he won't be able to lock up the Von Flu. Although now he is, but Devin's doing something a little differently now. He's doing something called the Squeezel Diesel, right? Which is he putting his fist in the side of the choke, but that loosened the grip a little bit, and then he was able to escape. So let's go back and break down these different parts of the guillotine here. All right, so starting back in the beginning, Devin sets a head snap and his opponent takes advantage to shoot in, giving Devin a good opportunity, but look right here. This is the first mistake Devin made, which is that when he went for the guillotine to drop back, if you look at his right leg, he didn't step over the hip. This is super important because that prevents him from passing to side. Now, because he didn't, his opponent was able to cross over it, and you'll see in a moment, and make it much more difficult. If Devin would have simply lifted that right leg up, he doesn't have to close a guard, but enough to either hook over his lower back or just to prevent the opponent's hips from crossing over that leg, because that's the crucial leg that you want to protect. You want his body to stay on the same side as his head. So if you don't block that hip, which is a number one mistake with guillotines, he's going to cross body you. All right, so let's keep moving forward now. So now moving forward, we can see that his opponent does pass into side control. And then Devin here is trying to get a bridge with the guillotine, which can work sometimes, but his opponent has good balance, doesn't let it happen. And now Devin, as you can see, has let go with his right hand, so he's only holding the neck with one arm. And the reason why is that he's looking to get back up to his feet, as you see here. He was able to post on that free arm, get back up, and now reset his guillotine. A smart move here, it allows him to get a deeper guillotine and ideally fall with the hip being blocked. However, he doesn't. Uh, his opponent tackles him, and then Devin falls to the wrong side, and once again, his opponent's able to pass. He should have capitalized and threw the leg over and fell on his own terms. But he's not perfect, and uh, now he's on bottom side again. And at this point, his opponent could be looking to get a, a Von Flu choke. Uh, if I'm not sure if his opponent's versed in it, but he could. Now, Devin right now is actually getting good choke pressure, as you can see, because his opponent has his chin pointed towards Devin's hips. Uh, that's not a good defensive position. When you're in the top, you want to turn your chin sideways, uh, perpendicular to Devin's body, so that the chin's almost digging on the side of the ribs. It takes pressure from the throat and uh, it puts it more towards the back and the side of your neck rather than down around where the carotid is. It makes it much easier to eat that choke. As you can see now, his opponent's starting to do that and uh, his face probably will start <laughs> becoming less cherry red than it is. Now, something interesting that's happening here, I don't think is intentional, but it could be done for someone who is savvy is that they could trap that arm right there between his legs intentionally to prevent the Von Flu choke from happening, right? Now, in this case, I think it's just because the guy is, uh, feels like he's got better control of Devin's hips. But in either case, it's something that we can think about. Now, here you can see Devin now he has changed his grip, and uh, he has what we call the Squeezel Diesel. 
and this is a fist choke in essence which allows you to bridge people and finish from the bottom side even you know when it looks like your position is bad it's a very strong choke but it loosened the grip a little bit which allowed his opponent to escape and now they're back on their feet after his opponent escaped the guillotine attempt and they're just jockeying for position here and as you can see Devin's looking for that head control uh, again if he gets his hand on your head he's gonna try to snap you get that guillotine in so you always gotta fight off the that hand and uh, you can see Devin also is posturing really high which is sort of inviting that shot to come in Devin loves to counter that with that guillotine oh interesting scramble here Oop, tight rear naked choke he switches to the bully choke and uh, that's gonna be a wrap right there there it is let's go ahead and break down that sequence so replaying it his opponent shoots in with a high crotch Devin looks for the guillotine but look his opponent has his high overhook which throws him by but he ends up turning too much giving his back and Devin right away looking for the choke first position after and he has a one arm choke real tight his opponent is scrambling though and in that scramble he's able to switch it up to a bully choke because he already had that one arm choke so deep now Devin is making one mistake here which is that he's keeping his hips pointed up he's, he should have his hips pointed down but the choke is so tight and Devin's putting so much shoulder pressure that it doesn't really matter his opponent's not able to capitalize on it and he gets a tap there and that wraps up this match review so once again another FFA victory here by way of bully choke I hope you guys uh, learned a couple things from here all right and uh, we'll see you on the next video review and if you just happen to jump in on this feel free to visit my blog at davidavalon.com and if you guys have any comments or questions uh, go ahead and write them down below and I'd be happy to answer them for you. All right, take care. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please like and leave a comment below. Now, if you want to get more weekly videos right into your YouTube inbox, subscribe to my channel now. And for even more blog articles and videos, you can visit my website, which is davidavalon.com, and you can also learn more about my courses there.